أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم قل هذه سبيلي أدعو إلى الله أدعو إلى الله على بصيرة أنا ومن اتبعني وسبحان الله وما أنا من المشركين This is سبيل قل هذه سبيلي أدعو إلى الله على بصيرة Beautiful words. I call to Allah with eyes open, with insight, basira. Basira is when you have full view of something. Actually, according to the Arabic language, right now, I don't have basira. Because because of this pillar, I don't see the people behind there. I, and they don't see me, so I don't have basira. Basira means you have full view. Full view. Even partial view is not basira. Allah says we call to our deen with eyes open. You know what that means? That we have full understanding of why we are Muslim. Not just that we are Muslim, Alhamdulillah, we know we're Muslim. But we have to have eyes open. Why am I Muslim? Why do I say La ilaha illallah? Why do I say Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Why is the Quran the book of Allah? I should be clear about that for myself. So many Muslims today are only Muslim because, and you ask them, why are you Muslim? And they say, because my parents are Muslim. Or they say, because I was raised in a Muslim country. Or they say, I don't know, because everybody else is Muslim, I guess. These are not good answers. These are not good answers to that question. And I am telling you, I am telling you, because I have seen it myself. I have seen Muslim children from Muslim families say, I don't even know why I'm Muslim. And, they, they, and in America, at least, they start leaving Islam because there's no, nobody's going to say, Astaghfirullah, he's become a murtad. They, they, don't have, they don't have that. So they start leaving the deen. Recently, I went to Mexico City, 38 million people. I looked up what halal restaurant I could find. I found one, there were two restaurants. I went to an Algerian restaurant in Mexico City. And I asked the brother, he's been there since the 70s. Since the 70s. And he said there's about a hundred thousand Jordan, Jordanians that moved to Mexico City in the 70s. A hundred thousand or some. And today there's like one or two masajid in Mexico City and Jumu'ah is attended by 200 or 300 people. That is it. That is it. It's gone. Because they were not raised with, why are you Muslim? So when they looked at the society around them, they said, oh, I could just be like everybody else. Why do I have to stay Muslim? What's the point? Globalization is changing our world. YouTube is everywhere. Our children are watching, our youth are watching videos that are giving them confusions. And you cannot stop it. They will be exposed to it. And until we educate them on why are we Muslim, until they have basira, they will not be able to serve society. The two ideas in this ayah are tied to each other. On the one hand, we want people that will serve. On the other hand, we want people that are clear about why they are Muslim. And when you are clear about why you are Muslim, when you have basira, then there is no doubt that you will serve. There is no doubt that you will put every energy you can to do whatever you can for Allah's deen. أَدْعُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ عَلَى بَصِيرَةٍ أَنَا وَمَنِ اتَّبَعَنِي The Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, I call to Allah with eyes open. I and whoever follows me. Our deen is different. Our deen is different. When, we, when people say, why do you follow Islam? Why do you do this or that or the other? We don't just have the answer, I don't know. We just do it, that's just our culture. We don't have that. Other religions can give that answer. We don't give that answer. We have a reason for what we do. We have intellect that we are supposed to use. Afala ta'qilun. Why don't you think? You have to be thinking people, you know? And even especially in a Muslim society, we assume that our next generation is already, they know that Islam is the haqq. Don't assume that. They have to come to that conclusion for themselves. They have to get the education in which they can say for themselves, yes, absolutely this is the truth. To confirm their iman and reconfirm their iman. They should know why. It gives a strength to the, youth, the Muslim youth. And this is the last couple of things I want to talk to you about inshaAllah ta'ala. And those are when, Mus when young Muslim people have real iman. When young Muslims have real like, strength in their belief, then they, can, they have the power to change the world. They have the power to make the world a, a better place. But when young Muslim people don't have real iman, they don't have real conviction, 
then they are a waste of space. They are a waste of society, a waste of a generation.